Wolfswood, Kings Road, Scared. Lost your horse, buddy. Seven L's. Let's play a little game, oh, shall yes. we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? My best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. This is not As good. my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your Why father are you here, dude? the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Hide, buddy. What was that? My lord? Shh. Listen. No. There. Don't move. Hear that? I know I heard something. We're gonna stay still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. been retarded if you get caught here buddy I wouldn't actually go down there but all right what am I looking at bloody hell about insane insaneness Lord Ethan as I was saying you are young and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership but 300 generations of forester lords stand behind you mm-hmm Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years if not decades to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. Mm -hmm. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. It's not gonna be you. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> Lord Ethan. 
Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, oh. but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Well. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <coughs> Stop hitting him. You address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. That's right. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. You can send him to the war. Well. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester. And deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Right. Don't steal next time. Where is that option? Um, I think I'll go talk to... That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone... You can trust by yourself. Not side. you. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. Ah, you're a that jerk. is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. Mm, nope. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job. Neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel there. Very well. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. It's a cool looking bracer. I think the Castellan is the man for the job. Go to the tower? No.
Let's talk to him. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And Aww. this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... Oh, you know, don't you? You honour Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. And? Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. And that's kind of true. Someone did something it. bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Good stuff, kid. Nothing of note there. You're all worthless and weak. Wish I could pan the view a bit more. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make. And I wanted your advice. Uh, let's start with... I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins. Or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. Well... And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. No. I would never do that to you. I told the White Hills that I did it. Pardon me saying so. I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. But I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Well, he was ready to point fingers to what someone else did instead of talk much about himself. Malcolm. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Well... Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. Oh. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, 
Sir Roiland is the man you want. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. That's true. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. You were you were next. I was coming up. I was just, Yeah. Easy. Alright. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She Your always thinks of family what, above all else. Was that? Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. Hopefully. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Mm. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters I worse. Knew that. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Yeah, we don't really need water. We have uh, we have a message sent to the king. Uh, all that good stuff. We don't need. Duncan will keep the peace. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. Wait, 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 wait. I'm at your service, my lord. Let's talk more about that. Um, let's not give him the bracer yet. That would be like... Lying. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. We said we were I made the count again, uh... just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. Mm -hmm. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do That's more. An idea. My lord. If people want to give their Rush, stuff right. willingly. That means now. Who are you? We've talked to this guy. Uh, let's go to the tower really quick, just just to see what it lo all looks like from up there, and then we'll uh, call the small council meeting. Do it like you mean it. All right. I think we made the, the decision, uh, it's difficult to make, but Duncan is the peaceful type and we kind of need to to go with trying to keep the peace and not make Maester. war. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. 
Are you prepared to name your sentinel? I was looking for mom, but mom wasn't around. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Can you call up mom? Where's mother? Let's get mother in it. 